tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello folks, today I'm going to show you something which has to do with dismantling or dissolving or making a character explode. The animation you see here is uh, so complex that I would say in 2018 everybody would have wondered how you make this. Uh, did it take you a week or so? No, actually it doesn't take me longer than this tutorial. And uh, this is like a little hack, but it's not really a hack because it deals with, with just combining technologies. And in this case the MASH, M-A-S-H technology with uh, polygon structures, nothing else really, and good lighting of course. And your lighting depends so much on the environment of the, the context of the whole animation you want to make, but uh, I think this is a, quite a sweet tutorial. And I would advise you to take this example, create your own example of course, very simple to reproduce it, um, and create sound sound which goes with the explosion and with the dismantling of this object with all the particles floating around and then reassembling into new characters. I think that's uh, quite an ambitious task. I come from the sound world because I'm a radio person for public radio in Germany and uh, I know how to do this um, but there are so many ways to add sound to this and uh, if you want give me a link and uh, I'll check out what you've achieved with sound and breakout. Enjoy this tutorial. And first of all I want to show you the where he sits. In case you want to go for the obese gentleman, uh, you go to the general editors under Windows that is into the content browser and here you find m under modeling bipeds and he's the character of bees so you can start with him I won't start with him today because I want to show you the scene set up in a very basic form it's not different at all with the obese gentleman anyway we need something which dissolves and um, for that purpose we go to polygon modeling and we create any kind of object. Uh, what I can do for example is create a helix and that helix has properties which I can change here, the number of coils for example and uh, what I want because the disintegration mechanism is um, is dependent on how many polygons you have so I increase the subdivisions here you see them increase here and uh, also for the caps so I have sort of the similar a similar subdivision in all dimensions and I want to make it a little bit higher this is our starting object it's called P helix in this scene it would be called obese gentleman in your scene next thing is we need and uh, this is so simple it's all almost embarrassingly simple we need a mesh network and uh, for the national mesh network we need any kind of very simple geometry and the most simple one I imagine is this one uh, I move it up because um, I don't know modify freeze transformations and um, actually I want to give the coil a different color, a new material, Arnold standard surface shader and I change the color to well this kind of green not very nice but uh, okay for this purpose and now I create a mesh network from this box important you want this helix to disintegrate the obese man and uh, you need locators so to say where it disintegrates into 
very interesting and as I said very simple so we have selected our simple geometry the cube could be any other kind of geometry really and now we go to well FX for example and here we have the mesh network create mesh network or we could go to the mesh tab and all the way to the left is the create mesh network but I want to do it here because um, we change something in the default settings the default settings have a distribution type which is linear so you get all the boxes here in a row but what we want we want a grid and we can do this later but uh, and actually we'll visit this um, option in just a second so I apply it and reset the settings and close this so I have nine of these objects and when you select the mesh network in the outliner if it's not selected anyway you see a tab called mesh one distribute and uh, this is exactly uh, what this distribution is about the grid is what we chose the linear would be this and uh, we go back to the grid because uh, the grid is just optimal for this and uh, here we have a distance and we can raise this distance in uh, X and Z uh, in Y it doesn't matter because we don't have uh, something up there we actually could introduce a grid distribution in Y as well so more boxes piling up uh, in that case we would activate the distance in Y but we are satisfied, satisfied with these three uh, rows of three so it's nine boxes all together now um, we'll <laughs> it's so simple sorry uh, here we have the breakout node and the breakout node is exactly what we won't use but it looks like a breakout actually um, what we'll do now with the explode node uh, the breakout is I really don't know what it's good for I tried several things and uh, it's just maybe it's too abstract but the explode isn't so um, we left mouse click and add an explode node once we do this we see a new tab ex uh, appear up there here it's the mesh distribute and now we have the mesh explode and uh, when you go back in the outliner just to see how this thing is organized you see the mesh network this is the mesh waiter as it's called waiter and uh, mesh distribute and uh, that's why we change the distances and here we have the mesh explode and um, it wants an exploding mesh and that's our helix so what we'll do is we'll middle mouse drag the helix it's here into this field um, except mesh um, don't drag it with the left mouse button here because you lose the attribute editor here it's uh, it's pretty trivial middle mouse drag into the exploding mesh now it has disappeared not really because we see the mesh appear down there which doesn't help us a lot what we'll do now is we hide the boxes that's there in the repro mesh here mesh one repro mesh and we press H and hide them and here we see interesting structures now um, go back to mesh network and to the explode node and here is the strength and now watch what's happening when we reduce the strength isn't that amazing we get helixes which are not intact really but which look already like helixes why are they not intact because we don't have enough polygons uh, to really produce them properly and when we reduce the strength even more they put all their polygons together that's a nice view actually and then we have our original mesh the helix let's type in 0 0.1 so this is what we have but 0 0.2 is really nice and what I'll do now just for rendering purposes I 
go to surfaces and I create this surface here, the NURBS plane, with a width which is quite big and an Arnold area light which sits here in the center of the scene. I can just drag it over here and maybe tilt it like so and I increase the size and what I always do with this single light is I untick normalize and uh, maybe raise the exposure to 2 and then I can render it. I render it in the viewport using this menu here and I run the rendering. This is so nice and so simple. When you start with the obese man the process is exactly the same and uh, when you change the distribution of the original boxes for example change the distance to from 10 to 20 and also in the Z direction you get this, these structures and you go to the explode node and change the strength not only the strength is interesting, the randomness is interesting too. Look at this structure here with uh, the random strength of 0 0.6. When you change the step strength, the helix won't disintegrate totally. So I reduce this and I increase the strength and you see there are only a few particles, polygons, disappearing and you can raise the random strength and you see only these disappear and go to, the de to their destinations. So let's summarize this. You need a mesh which is serving as the input for the exploding mesh here in the mesh explode node. You start with that mesh which is a helix in our case which should be the obese man in your case. Uh, so, so to say your homework. Second thing you need to do is you create a mesh network from any kind of object. Important is only the distribution and then you middle mouse drag the helix or the obese man into this field and play with the strength, the random strength and the step strength. And that's all for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.